Uh, they continue to expand their perimeter, searching for these gunmen, uh, trying to find, uh, find one of the two gunmen, if at all possible. Uh, Marisa Vedra joins us now with more on, on her aspects of the story. John, still here at Below Gardens as we continue to see a police officers drive past us at high rates of speed. This is a very active scene to this point. They've continued to keep us back away in Below Gardens. And I was able to talk to Kiki McDonald, who was at the front of this march as it moved through down tonight. Glad you're safe. Walk me through what happened in those minutes before the gunfire. Well, everybody was marching, and um, we were basically having a peaceful protest. Uh, guys told us before we left the... Um, the Odd Red Museum that we that basically we would do it in an orderly fashion the way that we got there. Everybody was supposed to relax, calm down, march. Basically, we got there. We started chanting Black Lives Matter. Um, got well, man. My wife got closer to the El Centro building, and there was a guy in army fatigue. Uh, with a assault rifle. This is someone you t were telling me that was with the march. In the street, we do not, at this point, we're hearing that the shooter was from an elevated position, so we're not sure, but of course, that would stand out to you that you saw someone with a weapon. And then minutes later, you heard gunfire. I heard gunfire uh, before I knew it. The El Centro glass window shattered, which was on the side of my wife. Um, you were in the street, and next to you, glass goes flying. Um, right after that, officers was like, get down, get down. Instead of us getting down, we ran. I'm not going to stand there. So we ran for cover. Moments before that, you heard maybe seven or eight rounds over again. It was, don't go that way. They're in the uh, parking garage. Moments after that, you heard maybe six or seven more rounds. Don't go this way. There's two other shooters on this end, which, is, which are by officers telling us, don't go this way. I'm like, I just want to get to my car. Complete chaos, and I'm assuming everyone is scattering at that. Everyone is running. There is no one basically able to be like, okay, well, hey, come on. There's a lady that was running on the side of me. Her daughter was in front of me and my girlfriend, and she all of a sudden disappeared into the crowd, and so now we're looking for her. We hear several more gunshots. The officer has her daughter, but shooting. So I'm like, well, let her go. Come, let her go. She comes towards us, and he's still shooting. No, no concern about youth life at all. I mean, it's, it's chaotic. I mean, it, we shouldn't have to. This is a peaceful rally. We shouldn't have to result in violence for it to basically make a statement. I mean, that's what this rally was for. Black Lives Matter. What's the point of you shooting other people? It's pointless. Where were you able to finally find a safe place, or how far did you need to get? Uh, we were on the opposite side of the El Centro building, which is right there by the West End Station, which is right there by McDonald's. It's not that safe, but we were safe enough. There's plenty of bricks and things of that nature for us to hide behind. So I was just like, get down, get down, don't move, get down. I mean, there's, it's just chaotic. What are your feelings tonight emotionally about this happening and what you witnessed? It sucks because it, it hurts that us as blacks, us as Americans, period, can't get together and, you know, have a have a peaceful, peaceful outing without gunfire, without resulting into violence. Just because you see a badge in blue does not mean that they're dangerous. I mean, my girlfriend's dad's a sheriff of Cato Parish, so and we're certainly thinking of the three officers who we know have lost their lives tonight and and the others who are uh, currently I've being seen treated four i've seen four we're hearing three at this point uh, we hope certainly the others that are injured uh, pull through kiki thank you for speaking with us tonight i'm glad you're